Hello, my name is CJ and I'd like to share with you some of my favorite high school curriculums so far. Um, I have an uprising 11th grader and I've done quite a bit of research and there are some things that have just um, worked really well for him and I'd like to share that with you. The first one is Guest Hollow and actually Guest Hollow has worked for my middle schoolers as well. I cannot speak enough of their company. I know some of you probably think I'm an employee um, and I'm not. I don't know the family. I just really enjoy, first of all, their customer service and secondly, their assortment and their dedication and their fun, interactive, well-balanced, very rich, rigorous, challenging, customizable. I have just really, really enjoyed their curriculum and my kids as well. Now, let me say this. When I first started lesson planning, I purchased their World Geography and Cultures curriculum um, for my ninth grader at that time, a couple years ago, and I started lesson planning and it was a lot. It was a lot. So I put it down. Yes, I think I came back to it after a week or so because it was quite overwhelming. There's such a plethora of activities and videos and, and books and books and more books. And then there's a schedule and this, that, the other. And although I liked what I had initially seen, um, once I dove into it, it was a lot. And so I put it down and came back to it and I have not, have not stopped looking at it or going back and seeing what's new or that sort of thing since. In the description box, you will see two things. One is a playlist of other content creators' favorite high school curriculums, and all of the websites that I mention in this video will be listed in the description box as well. Take a peek at it and, and see if it will be the right fit for you. There are um, a ton of videos that I have on Guest Hollow on my channel, but then there's also so many others out there from great content creators that have reviewed Guest Hollow as well. And I, I just think the curriculum is a home run. Their customer service is stellar, just like their curriculum as well. Um, they have a strong presence on Facebook. And what I mean by that is the owners, the authors. So it's a mom and pop type of shop, a husband and wife team. And they, I don't know, I, I feel within seconds sometimes they're answering questions and you know of course I, they have a life and they have to go to sleep and that sort of thing but you will hear from them promptly you will they listen they have acted upon requests before some unique requests customer service top of top of the line for sure thank you for being here if you're enjoying what you see please give it a thumbs up this year we will be using Guest Hollow's Government, Economics, and Personal Finance curriculum for my 11th grader, my uprising 9th grader, and we're going to tweak it just a bit, just a little bit, for my 8th grader. She won't be using the full curriculum, but we're going to include her in some of the topics that we will be doing. It is not written for uh, the middle school level. It's just something that I'm doing on my own. I invite you to visit the Guest Hollow website as well as message boards. They have individual message boards for each uh, subject matter. So for history or for science or for language arts, so forth and so on. And so yes, Guest Hollow is one of my favorite, favorite um, curriculums that I actually stumbled upon and I'm happy to share that with you. The art of problem solving. Now, let me start by saying that if you are going to consider this, you should start with Beast Academy first. It is an advanced math program. It is challenging and my kids have done well because they started with Beast Academy and I feel that they were well prepared. From this book, it says the following so you can get an idea of what it's all about. This book is probably very different from most of the math books that you have read before. We believe that the best way to learn mathematics is by solving problems. So Beast Academy and the art of problem solving, they make your mind think in a different way than your traditional math books and math ways of thinking in the past. They do a lot of things, if not most, through solving problems. It is elevated, it is well-rounded, and I cannot recommended enough. There are lots and lots and lots of problems 
In fact, we believe that the best way to learn mathematics is to try to solve problems that you don't know how to do. When you discover something on your own, you'll understand it much better than if someone just tells it to you. So we started Beast Academy after we stopped using a Becca math around sixth grade, and then we dove into Beast Academy, and we progressed through that, and now each of the kids are on their different levels of the art of problem solving. So from Beast Academy, they went to pre-algebra, so forth and so on. My um, seventh grader just completed introduction to pre-algebra, so she'll be moving on in the eighth grade, getting a high school credit with um, Algebra 1. I have seen the fruits of the labor. I've seen them work so hard, and I'm just ever so grateful for the writers of this curriculum, and it's been around for a while. So I would say that the natural progression would be the Beast Academy and then to this. However, if you're just jumping into high school and you have a strong math person, then um, they probably will do just fine with the art of problem solve. There are placement tests on the website that you can have your student check out to see how they will do, and, and even if it's the right fit for you, um, for them, excuse me, because it's a lot of just problems to solve. And what I've noticed and what I've heard and what I've seen and um, even asking other uh, mathematicians out there is that it just makes your brain think a different way. I highly recommend the art of problem solving, especially for those kids who are advanced in math and like that extra element of, hmm, I have to solve that. The art of problem solving is for you. So I'd like to touch base on Seven Sisters Homeschool next. First of all, they are known for their literature guides, which includes no busy work, no fluff, just straight into the point. And I used one of their literature guides last year. I was so, so pleased. I felt as if I wrote the curriculum uh, because it was just straight and to the point. And so if you're looking for a literature guide for your high schooler, this would be the one for you. They even have a movie, a cinema literature guide. I didn't even know that existed. It is worth looking into but I want to touch base on the career exploration program for high school. It is just impeccable. I have even dabbled into it and said, you know, I had no idea that this particular job was available out there for anyone to do. And going through this course alongside my son, it has stretched his mind and made him think, well, wow, I, I didn't know I could do that. Or, oh, that's right, I don't like that, I don't like that, nope, I wouldn't, be good at doing this or wow i didn't know i had that type of a strength it just really digs deep into uh, different things like you know how important is this to you being married providing security having a challenging career being socially active having you know name brand clothing um being your own boss moving up the corporate ladder having a study environment for yourself, having a bachelor's degree, um, maybe just an apprenticeship. I mean, it really just walks you through all of these little things. And we haven't even touched taking some sort of career assessment yet. It's, it's just well, well done. It just stretches your mind to think about other new things that are out there and why you like what you think you like and have you thought about all of the little details of what that job might entail? It's, it's well done. I can't speak about it enough. Seven Sisters Homeschool also has other courses that are available. They have additional classes that you can take with one of the Seven Sisters, and I would just highly recommend that you dive in and take a look at Seven Sisters Homeschool, one of my favorite curriculum companies out there that you should look into if you have a high school student. I need to add that a lot of these courses, if you're looking at, you know what, I need some electives for my child, they have a lot of options on there. Kind of like this career exploration one is a good elective option. Another one of my favorite companies for curriculum is Not Consumed. It is very popular for their Bible curriculum, but they have some up and coming and um, newly released items that have just hit the mark all the way. And one of them being this Thrive Health and Physical Education for Homeschoolers. I am really enjoying looking through this for the upcoming school year. 
I have dabbled in a handful of their unit studies for Bible as well as their full year curriculums for Bible and I'm happy to see some of the newer things that they're they're bringing out these days. This is going to be a good source for the person who likes physical education or does not. They have some suggestions in there that, you know, sometimes you just need to see it in a different way, present it a different way, said from somebody else a different way because they allow the person who does not really care for physical activity to open their mind up a little bit more and say, well, you know what? This particular thing that you're doing, like mowing the lawn, working on the farm, um, working outside in the yard, okay? Those are pretty similar examples, but those are a form of exercise. And they share some other ways in here that you can do physical activity all the while counting that as exercise. There's a lot of information here about um, nutritious meals and that sort of thing. They talk about fast food and they talk about chemicals and fruits and ve vegetables and all that type of thing as well. Interval training, strength training. Um, I think this is going to be just a fantastic resource that we're going to use this year. And I have enjoyed everything that I have used from Not Consumed. I advise you to take a look at their curriculum and see if there's something there that you will enjoy as well. For language arts, for literature, I don't have any favorites per se because we pull some of our literature from um, Guest Hollow and we pull some literature from what I want to read to the kids or what they want to read as far as literature and books and classical literature and fiction and nonfiction and stuff like that. So I don't have any one set curriculum for that. For my son, we've been using IEW and we're gonna continue with that because he is doing well. For my uprising ninth grader, my daughter, we are, I'm not sure. <laughs> and so we may use something different for her. So I don't have anything other than IEW to suggest. School is a different ball game when it comes to um, writing and English and some form of grammar and all of those things. My son has done fantastic with IEW. I think my, I think my uprising ninth grader will as well. However, um, I need a little bit more spiff for her. So I might be looking for something different for her. And yeah, that's all I have for now. Any other questions about electives and that sort of thing, um, please let me know, but I wanted to at least share with you what some of my favorite high school curriculum is so far so that you can look at these companies for yourself and see if it's a good fit. Please like and subscribe if this is something that you'd like to continue to see and you can join in on the homeschooling through high school family and we'll see you next time.